This will be a test of strength for Cronulla. Alchin straight across field, takes the tackle, 12 metres out now from the Cronulla line. He's done, surges ahead. Eight metres out, Langmack dummy half, Tunks has it. Langmack again, dummy half. Across to Hagen, the little dummy from Hagen. He found support from Thomas, and Thomas scores a very good Canterbury try. Great passing from Michael Hagen. Yes, first pass effort from uh, Hagen. A well-worked move. Yes, it's a good move. See it again on the State Bank replay. Langmack gets it away there to Hagen. Hagen weaves his way through. The tackle is missed by docking, and Thomas goes in for a very, what I would call a soft try. Out to Hagen, throws a little dummy, goes straight ahead, then gets about four yards beyond his original position, gives it to Thomas, who backed up well on the outside, and that's a, a very solid try, but one I think that Cronulla should take a lesson from, that is not good defence from them. Terry Thomas, the try scorer, I notice he had Terry Lamb outside him, unmarked as well. Referee Mick Stone, handled yesterday's semi-final, and Brandon Lee is coming off to go to the head bin, Bill, is he? Well, he's here. The doctor, Hugh Hazard's having a look at him now, and Steve Folks hasn't moved to uh, to take off his tracksuit, but I'm sure that after this report from the doctor, they'll make a decision one way or the other. Well, there's movement now on the reserves bench as uh, Stephen Folks gets rid of the tracksuit. Meanwhile, Terry Lamb has other things on his mind as he tries to pilot this one between the sticks and does it successfully. So the Bulldogs move further in front, 10 to 2 over Cronulla. Cronulla. Brandon Lee into the head bin. Chris Bell and Steve Fokes warming up, already out there. 